welcome back to another video yes yeah i uploaded a video earlier today it was not edited sorry about that but um i just wanted to um rank my favorite ninja i've been waiting to do this thing for a long time and i guess i should do it i put this video off for like four days i had it um edited and all and all the graphics but i just had other stuff to do i have a lot of stuff to do so i'm using my free time right now to If you disagree, then disagree. If you agree, well then good for you. But there are a lot of people who probably wouldn't agree with this, and I guess that's fine. But don't comment on some random comment, and yeah, just let's get into the list. At number six, I'm gonna have to put Lloyd Garment on here. I know this might be controversial, and when I was younger, this guy was definitely my favorite. But now I'm not so fond. Figure designs are usually always better, which I guess that's still one of the good things about him. You can see this, his Benjutsu thing, this looks very good. But then again, under DHX, he's gotten too much development, and now I guess he's almost overdeveloped, which is not a good thing, especially considering someone else who needs way more development and who's very unfocused. His designs are still good, as I said. At number five, I'm gonna have to put Nia. And, and I know I hate any of the Nia, by the way, but Nia just has to be here. I mean, it's not like I hate Nia or Lloyd, but other ninja are better. So, her designs aren't always the best. I guess recently her designs have been getting better, but not so much. But she, nowadays, she doesn't really have the crafty side and building Max or the DB Express and things like that. Which, I guess she just sits around. I guess Lloyd really does everything and all the other ninjas sit around. But whatever. At number 4, I'ma have to put Kai. Now, I actually like Kai. He's an enjoyable character. But, um, Daily Ruler, I think, made a good video. Anyway, so his designs are definitely on the better side of the ninja. I think his designs are some of the most consistent. That's, not, that's all I have to say. I, I liked his anger in the earlier seasons. As I said, Daily Roller made a really, like the perfect video on this. So, I'm not going to talk about it too much. But, just say he's a bit too childish now. At number 3, I'm going to have to put one of the original comic relief characters. Sorry about that. Jay. Jay's designs are always good. They're never bad, and I don't think there's ever a J design that I despise. His face designs is a bit childish now, but his character is still great, and that's what I like about him. His consistent character, he's a bit jokish in every other season except season 6, and I guess that's really it. Um, I mean, he's a funny character and all. He's good, he's funny, and he does a little bit of poetry. Sorry for all the notifications, if you can see them. But there's not much to Jay's character anymore. It's just a bland comic relief character just there for comic relief. And that's what I don't like about his character. And number two, I'm gonna have Zane. Zane is the only ninja that I like with a passion. Not love, but like. None of the designs are bad for Jay and Zane either. And I really like all the sets that he has. And he's also a very smart, robotic, humorless character, which I really like. I don't know, I, I like humorless characters in shows, they're always way better. And I feel like he's gotten beaten up a lot, which I don't like. And Zane gets beaten up a lot. For, I mean, season 8 pops to mind, and I bet there's a bunch of other stuff. His character is very good, and there's not much else to it. I guess Zane's arc was over after season 4, but he's still an enjoyable character to watch. Sorry for all the notifications. So, I guess he has gotten the medium end of the stick, not sure, not long. Which, I guess Zane is just enough developed. I feel like the show should kill him off, honestly. He's been here forever, and his arc already finished at season 4. At number 1. Drum roll, please. Cool. I am the only person I'm 
that, that actually love coal with a passion. So the reason I say this is, one, he's under focus, he gets the short end of the stick, I feel bad for him. And two, he's a good character. Um, in season 11 again, he really got dumbed down so much. His design in the show just looks hideous. He looks like he eats cheese all day, not meant to be offensive. I eat cheese, but Cole just looks very... I'm not sure, he just doesn't look good. He looks, his face um, looks really big, and then his eyes and mouth are super small. I guess that's kind of the reason. But... Ninjago Dare the Departed was really the only like actual officially released focus thing, but it was only 45 minutes. And season 13, I guess, is coming up, but this is not good. And the other ninja got a lot of focus too. And yeah, I, I mean, Cole's um, designs aren't always good, which is the only problem I have with him. His character, his personality, and his development in the only trilogy was just fantastic. But that's really all I have to say. I just like Cole. It's not like I have too many reasons for it. With that being said, I um, guess comment down your favorite ninja, your rankings, and I'd be happy to see them because I really like seeing what other people think of things. And yeah, I mean, that was my favorite ninja rank. I hope to see yours in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with whoever you know, everyone you know. All, do all those fun things and goodbye.